The toxic cocktail of privilege combined with COVID paranoia was very much on display during a segment of The View yesterday when multimillionaire Sonny Hostin revealed that she doesn't do her own grocery shopping and hasn't even been in a supermarket for three years or maybe just can't stand being in the vicinity of the general public. Joy, you have never ordered from Instacart. No. You like to go to a grocery store? I do. You like to go to a grocery store and be around all those disgusting infected plebs? I enjoy a supermarket. I don't like a supermarket. I haven't been in a supermarket. Market for, it's since like COVID. I, for about three years, that's when I discovered Instacart. And I, I, I give them a big tip because they don't always pay their, their people well. Right, so the company pays your grocery pickup slaves peanuts. So that's okay because you occasionally give them a tip. Man, you can get toiletries, you can get fire logs, you know those big bounty towels yeah. you don't want to carry? I those from Costco. Somebody else goes. Oh, God forbid you'd have to carry your own kitchen towels. Just get some illegal immigrant to do it. That's such an enjoyable You can get everything from Costco. <laughs> I do. Deliver to your house. I to live it to your house by a wage slave. Is Sonny really still afraid to go out because of COVID? Which even the Biden administration basically says is now over. Or is she just so incredibly stuck up and disconnected from the real world, she thinks supermarket shopping is beneath her. I don't begrudge anyone getting their groceries delivered if they can afford it. Time is money. There's nothing wrong with that. See, the problem with Sonny is that she's incredibly wealthy and privileged, but simultaneously constantly bangs on about how she's oppressed. You don't have to call me the N-word for me to understand my oppression. And I think when someone who is oppressed tells you that, I think you should listen. She also previously demanded reparations. Yeah, Sonny's so oppressed and downtrodden, ABC pay her $1.6 million a year to spout drivel on television. She's married to a renowned orthopedic surgeon in New York City. She's a rich celebrity who routinely vacations at Martha's Vineyard. Newsflash, Sonny, if some minimum wage Costco worker is doing your grocery shopping because you can't be bothered to carry kitchen towels, you're really not oppressed. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.